So just like I said, those of you Saggies that are having a difficult time, this reading is for you. Yes, I am here to go ahead and help you get through whatever difficult time you're having, okay? Clearly, we see the Tower and we see the Ten of Swords, okay? That clearly talks about betrayal. It talks about a relationship that is basically falling apart, okay? It's falling apart and I clearly see how they're... To this queen of pentacles it's a woman okay who was very nurturing in a relationship and this relationship came tumbling down this three of cups is talking about and especially with the seven of cups underneath talks about a partner who had other options and had a third party situation now you feel like you want to you don't want to be single clearly you got into this relationship and nurtured this relationship for the purpose of staying in it but this nine of pentacles talks about feeling like you're now by yourself because you were with somebody that's selfish as shit and this moon talks about somebody who is not showing you fully who they are and it further lets me know with this ten of swords that this person is being shitty and backstabby and has all these other love options, which is why you're now being defensive toward this person. You feel burdened in the relationship. Okay. So in a situation like this, you know, okay, I I'm seeing that, um, you could be dealing with an earth sign definitely or a water sign. Um, and I mean, there's no way to, to say it nicely. I mean, I, I can definitely see that you nurtured somebody that really and truly was selfish and that posed a burden and, and, and betrayed you and you're hurt as hell right now. And that's just like mad shitty. Um, I almost get the sense that this person has the nerve to act like, you know, you're the problem. They need to defend themselves against you. You know, but I also sense that this person is also probably, um, so I'm sensing Sagis that you are the mother of this person's children or possibly the father of this person's children. Okay. And I feel like the person that, um, I'm getting the energy of the other person that, uh, your partner may be having a relationship with on the side. Okay, this 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 person is is single according to everybody else. Everybody thinks that this person is single and this person is um likely denying the fact that they have been with your partner. Okay? But um I don't think this is the only person that your partner has had a third party situation. Okay? Um I sense what I'm seeing with this moon card and the tower together and these being the major arcanas is just letting me know that this person um, really and truly lied in terms of what they were going to offer in a relationship. Okay. We're talking about a relationship clearly here with this four of wands. Okay. You clearly, you know, nurtured this relationship. You nurtured it. Okay. However, you may be going through a very tough time right now. This tower right here. Okay. The foundation has come down in this relationship due to a third party situation. Okay. And the person that this person, you know, um, found super attractive is somebody that um, likely has, fight, you know, good financial standing. So this per th your partner is likely messing around with this other person, fucking around with this other person because this other person has finances and, and, and ha you know, is giving things to your partner. Okay. So I don't think your partner is only, you know, messing around with this person just for sexual reasons. It's wrong regardless, but this part, but, but your partner is, um, also taking this other person for a ride. And the only reason why I would think that your partner would do some shit like that is because your partner probably is having some financial issues and feels like they need to go ahead and use this other person to go ahead and bring more money into your household. That's why I feel like this person, you, your partner is doing what they're doing. So your partner is messing around with other people on the side to bring money into the household. Okay, Spirit, can you please clarify this third party situation? Exactly. So I'm seeing this five of swords. Okay, so yes, there is some sneaky behavior going on. So for some of you Saggies who sense that your partner is having third party situations um, and you want to go into your personal cards because you feel burdened, you know that this person is not being honest in the relationship. 
you would rather this person, your partner, go ahead and just keep it real with you and let you know that there are some financial difficulties in the relationship. Your partner does not want to tell you the truth about the fact that they're broke or they're having some financial problems. So what they're doing is they're going and messing with women on the side who have money so that they can bring it into the household to you. Now, in their mind, what they're doing is noble by actually bringing money into the household. Okay. But what they're doing is selfish as hell by not explaining to you what the financial situation is so that you guys can work on it together as a couple. So what they're doing is messing around with other people outside of the relationship for the sake of bringing in money. There's definitely some sneaky ass behavior going on. Okay. This person is being childish as hell. Okay. And if I see an ace of wands pop up in these next five cards, I'm going to have to be honest and break it down and say there could even be a freaking pregnancy. I see a fight popping off. Yep, and there is definitely the reason why this person is doing it is for financial reasons, like I said. Okay, so Sagis, if you're dealing with somebody who suspect that they're having a third party situation, and maybe some of you are saying, why, why, why? The reason why is because this person is broke. They don't want to tell you that they're having financial difficulties. And as a result, they want to go ahead and, you know, have little sugar mamas and shit on the side, sugar daddies on the side so that they can go ahead and make it look like they are financially stable. What they're doing is very immature, creating conflict in the household. Okay. This talks about conflict. And then right here, this talks about, you know, your partner stepping out, going out in a different direction, turning their back on you and doing other things, you know, when you're unaware, when you're at work, when they have the opportunity to, when they know they can get away with it, right? They go off into the distance and go do their thing. This card right here lets me know that it could be a Leo or a fire sign that you're dealing with, okay? Um, like yourself. Um, Spirit, can you let me know why, if there's any other messages that you have for Sajin? Is there any advice at the end? What is it that you would like for? What is the lesson that you have for okay so the emperor like i said okay so sagis this could be um the father of your children or this could be someone that um is trying to portray that they could take care of the household they really can't and what they're trying to do is you know they 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 love you they care about you but they know that they can't provide for you like you want them okay and that's an issue for them. That that that's something that um that bothers them that they don't know how to communicate with you. Okay? When it comes to communication, they're shitty at communication. They don't know how to communicate with you regarding what it is, you know, that's going on in the relationship. They don't know how to be honest at all. They don't know how to communicate that they're broke. Okay? So you might want to ask them about that. okay. This further reiterates that it's a fire sign that you're dealing with, okay? You're dealing with a, the, the third party is a third is, is a fire sign, or you may also be dealing with a fire sign. A lot of um, fire energy on the table. Okay. So if you want to go deeper into your story and you want confirmation with regards to what's going on in your particular situation in detail, and you want to know for sure, you know, if your partner's having third party situations or why the foundation of your relationship is falling apart. If you want to know if you're, you know, how deep this relationship is with this other person. If you want to know if your partner actually has feelings for this person or if this person, you understand what I'm saying? Because there, no relationship is perfect. And what I'm starting to notice in readings and what I'm starting to notice with my private readings that I do with people, you know, I don't always want to just jump to the conclusion to end the relationship with, with, with your partner. Okay. I don't always want to jump to that conclusion. Why? Because no relationship is perfect. Okay. And yes, there are some situations that are just some, oh, hell no type situations, right? Like I'm not going to put up with this and I'm not going to put up with that. But see, here's the thing that spirit is trying to teach all of us is tolerance. Okay. And that very thing that you don't want to deal with in life is that very thing that spirit is going to present you with so that you can overcome it emotionally, psychologically. So it don't bother you anymore so that the energy doesn't present itself to you. Okay. You may have children with this person. If you have children with this person, it's not a situation where you could, you could, but it's not a situation where you would want to just walk away from this, this relationship. 
It is something that's salvageable. Yes, in relationships, there is betrayal. I want you to think about this. And I say this in a lot of my private readings, okay? There's no way that you could be with somebody for 70, 80 years. You know, you see these old couples that stay together for all these years. Do you honestly think that in that relationship, there was no infidelity at one time? Do you honestly think there was no level of betrayal in that relationship at one time? Do you honestly think that they were just so highly devoted to each other the entire time? Absolutely not. But see, older couples did not really tell you about the, the hangups that they had in their relationships. Okay, relationships comes with come with their ups and downs. And that's why I do private readings with people because in some situations when I talk to some people, there is a just, a, oh, hell no, this person is deliberately stepping on your heart and not giving a shit about your feelings. And then there are times where I do, you know, where I have to listen to your situation and, and I can tell that the other party is broken. The other party does not know how to tell you that they're having financial difficulties. The other party is having, you know, it, it, it's not that they don't love you. They don't know how, they're, they're learning how to love you. They're trying to, and, and, but they don't know how. And those are the relationships that actually are salvageable because the other party does love you. However, the other party may have sat and watched their parents sit and be unfaithful to their mother or father for year upon year upon year. And that's what they think relationships are about. And you may be the very person that will show them that that's not how it goes, right? And it depends on the way that you guys communicate in that relationship. And that's what my re readings are based on. A, I pull out the cards and let you know what I see, okay? And then B, I give you the advice that spirit tells me to give you. I'm just the vessel, I'm the middleman, okay? The way that we learn about life is through relationships. So for some of you Sagis who are feeling burdened because you don't feel that your partner is being faithful, and you want to get a private reading because you're, the other party, you suspect that the other party can't pay the bills and they're unable to pay. Here's one way that you know. They're unable to pay the bills on time. If they can't pay the bills on time, but they eventually are able to pay them. But And the other party is not home when they're supposed to be. You know the other party doesn't have a job, but hell, they ain't never home. You know something's not right. You don't know why they're doing what they're doing. You're, you want to know why or if you should stay and whatnot. Those are the types of people that need to get readings. Those are the types of people that need to book their readings, right? Because you're going through a very, you, you, you're having a spiritual moment. You're having, you're, you're realizing that there's a lesson that needs to be learned through the relationship. There's love involved, right? The other party wants to be the provider. The other person wants to provide for you. And the way that they're going about it is absolutely asshole backwards, but they do love you. They're going about it in a very immature manner, right? This is immature love right here, a page of cup. But they're trying to act like, you know, Big Daddy Kane, right? Because they don't know how to be faithful. They don't know how to be committed. They don't know how to have a healthy foundation when it's commitment and love. All right. You've nurtured this relationship and they know it. They know it. And so, and they want to be with you. But the problem is this is how they go about taking care of you. Okay. A, it feeds their ego and B, that's how they were taught how to go about relationships. So for those of you who want to know if this is something that is salvageable or something that they need to just go ahead and walk away from because it's just deliberate disrespect or if it's a matter of your partner learning how to learn how to love through communication, if it's salvageable or not, go ahead, book your private reading so that we could talk about it, okay? Some of you actually have, you know, years with this person, regardless if you think you do or you don't. It might be a different person that you get in a relationship with in the same damn lesson. Some of you need to realize that, you know, in some of your relationships, you're, you're, it's like you, there are similarities with the people that you get with. Everybody that you get with, they cheat on you. Or everybody that you get with, they can't pay the bills. Or everybody that you get with, they're never home. They're not cheating, but, you know, or everybody that you get with, there's, there's these similarities. And so you have to understand you're the common denominator in that lesson. 
As soon as you learn that lesson, you won't have to deal with that anymore. So if you notice that pattern, book your private readings, loves. All right, Sagis, that's what's up for February. Unfortunately, some of you are feeling burdened because your partner is just um, being sneaky, not being honest, going away from the town, right? Look at this person far away from town, doing what they think is valuable, right? Away from town where nobody can see them, right? And then you have the moon. What happens when the moon is out? You can't see everything. So this person is being shady, straight up, okay? Betrayal. This talks about shady behavior, period. This don't mean celebration, and this means third-party situation.